It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 18, 2020 Acts 5 verses 12 to 16 12 And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. 13 And of the rest durst no man join himself to them, but the people magnified them. 14 And believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women. 15 Insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets, and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. 16 There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks, and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed every one. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy The heart that receives the Word of God is not as a pool that evaporates, not like a broken cistern that loses its treasure. It is like the mountain stream, fed by unfailing springs, whose cool, sparkling waters leap from rock to rock, refreshing the weary, the thirsty, the heavy laden. It is like a river constantly flowing and, as it advances, becoming deeper and wider, until its life-giving waters are spread over all the earth. The stream that goes singing on its way leaves behind its gift of verdure and fruitfulness. The grass on its banks is a fresher green, the trees have a richer verdure, the flowers are more abundant. When the earth lies bare and brown under the summer's scorching heat, a line of verdure marks the river's course. The religion of Christ reveals itself as a vitalizing, pervading principle, a living, working, spiritual energy. When the heart is open to the heavenly influence of truth and love, these principles will flow forth again like streams in the desert, causing fruitfulness to appear where now are barrenness and dearth. As those who have been cleansed and sanctified through a knowledge of Bible truth engage heartily in the work of soul-saving, they will become indeed a saver of life unto life. And as daily they drink of the inexhaustible fountain of grace and knowledge, they will find that their own hearts are filled to overflowing with the spirit of their master, and that through their unselfish ministry many are benefited physically, mentally, and spiritually by Ellen G. White, Prophets and Kings, pages 233 to 234. Our prayer for you today. Dear God our Father in Heaven, we humbly approach your presence with utmost reverence because you are the creator of the entire universe and all the living beings including us human beings in your image. You are all powerful and most lovingly you are our Father. Our prayer for you today. Today, as a church family and members of the Seventh Day Adventist Church, we pray that unity will reign in our midst and we, as your representatives here on this earth, will be given the power to bring both physical and spiritual healing to our fellow human beings that we come in contact with. Dear Father, Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen.